Church, say amen. Amen once again. Amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. What a great time to be in the kingdom of God. What a great time to be who you are. It is so great to be you today. You ought to thank God, first of all, for him being God. And then second of all, for you being his child. You ought to thank God for just choosing you on today. He could have chose anybody else to be sitting in your space, in your place. But he chose you. Hallelujah. He chose us. My God, what an awesome God we serve. We thank the Lord today for allowing us to be back in this place, in this space, one more time. We've been gone for a couple of weeks. Hallelujah. The Lord took us over the waters, over the highways. He took us over the waters, and he's brought us back home safely. Everything is intact. Everybody's doing well. Oh, hallelujah. And for that, we are eternally grateful. He's allowed us to lay eyes on each other one more time. It's good to see you. Amen. And, 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 and it's good to be seen. Come on, somebody. Y'all going to have to go with me today. Glory to God. Because... If you take a look around, glory to God, hallelujah. If you take a look around, you'll notice that there are some people that are not still in our land that you know and I know. And if you take a look around, you see things happening all around us. Good God, hallelujah. Just listen right now. We hear sirens going up the road, down the road. But you are sitting in the house of God. In your right mind, with a reasonable portion of health. Good God, you got a roof over your head. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. And you're in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. On your way to heaven. Oh, my God. Mama sang that song, it could have been the other way. It could have been the other way. And one day, it will be the other way. And when that day comes, no man knows when that day is. But when that day comes, where will we find ourselves? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray, glory to God, today that we will continue, glory to God, hallelujah, to be in his presence, to be where he is, to be seeking him. Amen. Glory to God. Because, listen, at the end of everything, all that matters is that we are in him. <laughs> all that matters is that we belong to him. All that matters is that we are his. And all that really matters is that we will get to spend eternity with him. Jesus, the Christ, the son of the living God, the one that came through 40 and two generations to give his life for you and I. My God, my God. 
He paid it all. He paid it all. We didn't have to die on an old rugged cross. But he did it just for you and I. Ah, glory to God. And for that, we are eternally grateful. Hallelujah. And I believe Paul said that there is nothing that can separate us from his love. No matter what we go through, hallelujah, neither death nor hell, nothing, principal, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. My God. So as we sit here today, being grateful and thankful, hallelujah, to first of all, who he is. He is the king of glory. Come on, somebody. Y'all act like y'all don't know what's going on in the land. Look at here. I know everything is going on. Hallelujah. But I want you to know that God is still in control. God is still on the throne. He hasn't missed one beat. Come on, somebody. And aren't you glad about it? Yeah. Hallelujah. Because if he'd have missed one beat, we probably wouldn't be here. None of us. But because his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he's watching you and me this morning. Glory to God. I'm so thankful today. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. If you would just let your minds roll back just a little bit. You ain't, some of us ain't got to go far. Some of us got to go a long way, good God. But if you, we would just think this morning or this afternoon, glory to God, about how good God has been to us. Think about it. Think about where, we, where you were five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25, 30, some of us. Good God, some of our children weren't even born. Some of us were just little children. Some of us was just becoming parents. Glory to God. But God, with his good self, all through those trials and tribulations and all through those storms, he's kept us. And I believe that it's only one in this house that they can go back to about 80 years, 80 83 years. She's been with us 83 years, which is my mother, Elma Morris. The Lord blessed us to be able to take her over the waters with us. Good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a blessing. She was able to travel with us. Glory to God. She was able to get off on a couple of the ports. Good God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. She was able to go out and celebrate some. She was able to really enjoy herself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'm so thankful she's sitting here this morning looking just wonderful. And we give God glory. We give God honor and we give God praise. We serve an awesome God. And I want you to know today that nothing is too hard for him. He is the God of impossibilities. Whatever you're struggling with today, I want you to know that the God we serve is able today. Hallelujah. If you would just give it to him, if we would just cast our cares on him, if we would just trust him today, good God. Hallelujah, he can do it for us. Matter of fact, he's already done it for us. And with that said, we tell God thank you. We thank him for all his wonderful blessings. Glory to God. And I just want you to shift your mind from whatever you're dealing with right now. And I want you to shift it from everything that's going on in the world and around you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And today I want to speak to the land. I want to speak to all those that are in the land this day that can hear my voice or that can understand what I'm saying. I want you to hear what the Lord is saying to us today because he wouldn't let me 
preach anything else but what I'm going to say to you today. And he want this to be heard all over the land, all over the world. He wants this one verse to go out. He said, no, that's the only verse that I want you to preach because I want the world to hear what I'm saying. Because if they have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying, then they will obey what God is saying. And what he is saying is not difficult. What It doesn't matter what situation you're in right now. It doesn't matter what's going on. I know some of y'all are living your best life, and that's great. Hallelujah. But you need to hear what does saith the Lord this morning. Let's go to the book of Psalms. I'm going to pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. We know faith. Now faith is, O oh God. So as we now release our faith, O oh God, in you to speak what thus saith you today, what you have to say today, Lord. Hallelujah. Now let our faith, O oh God, hear what you're saying. Let our ears hear and receive what you're saying today. And we won't only hear what you're saying, O oh God, but we will respond to what you're saying. Hallelujah. According to your word. And we thank you on today, O oh Lord, for being who you are. We thank you for being the great I am today. We thank you for being the lover of our souls on today. We thank you for being the Alpha and the Omega today. We thank you for being the first and the last. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for being who you are today. And Father, as we are here today, what here to hear your word, speak forth your word, that these vessels may hear and obey what you're saying today. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen. We are at Psalms 100. And Psalms 100, we all know this very familiar passage of Scripture. And it simply says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And it's talking about exalting the Lord, our God. In other words, <laughs> let the whole earth shout triumphantly to God. Let the whole earth, the whole earth, we're speaking to the whole earth today. Let the whole earth shout triumphantly to God. In the Bible, glory to God, worship is not some sedate event. It's not. People are to engage in it with a sense of excitement. You can't worship the Lord without your emotions. It is no mere intellectual exercise. It is it, it is no more than just going through some exercise, physical. Moreover, worship is for the whole earth. All people are invited to join the celebration. Come on, somebody. See, y'all don't let or we don't allow the enemy to come in and put weight on us that God did not put. Come on, somebody. So the Lord is telling us this morning, glory to God, we got to throw all of this stuff up. Get it off. We got to get it off. We got to get out what they say. We got to get out what the doctors say. We got to get out what everybody done said to us. All of this stuff is weighing us down and putting us down. And all of these thoughts that are not of God, we got to put it out, put it out, put it out. Because the Lord 
Lord wants us to celebrate. He wants us to be in celebratory mode. Because there's so much that's about to happen great in the earth that the devil is trying to make you miss it. Y'all ain't with me this morning. Y'all not with me. Y'all not with me. Y'all not, not with me. You're not with me this morning. You have been bamboozled. But I'm here today. There's a servant of the Most High God to tell you that the Master himself says, Make a joy for the Lord unto the Lord. You got to make a joy for noise unto him. I know what they say. I know what they're saying. I know what they're trying to do. But guess what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they're not in control. He's in control. And he's telling you today to make a joy for noise. Glory to God. Because see, when we begin to celebrate in the midst of all the turmoil and all that's going on around us, glory to God, it changes everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we are coming in agreement with the Lord. But when we come in agreement with all that's going on in earth, it's so sad and it's so pitiful, then we're coming in agreement with that. We don't have anything to be sad about. We don't have anything to be worried about. We don't have anything to be disappointed about. Because we turn. Oh, this is yes. Hallelujah. And he's saying to all the earth, to all the world, he's saying to the land, make a joyful noise. I guarantee you, if we all begin to start making a joyful noise, if we all begin to say thank you, Jesus, if we all begin to praise the Lord, all over the world, all of this stuff will change. How do you know, Pastor? Because the Word of God says to us that what else is coming out of our mouth? Good God comes out. And if we begin to exalt the Lord, if we begin to make those joy for the Lord, if we begin to say, Hallelujah, and we begin to say, Thank you, Jesus, and we begin to shout with the voice of Christ, and we begin, yeah, I'm convinced that we can push back. Hey, when hell is trying to come through, glory uh, to God. I begin, I believe if we begin to exalt the Lord. I begin, I believe if we begin, hallelujah, to make. That's why he said make a joy for us. All you may. Make a joy for us. Glory to God. If you begin to just say, thank you, Lord. Everybody just begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We begin, all of us begin to do that all over this land. You that are up there in uh, Facebook and everywhere, wherever you are this morning, I want you to just begin to thank God. I want you to begin to make a joy for the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to say, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Whatever that joy is that's down on the inside of you, that you know that the Lord has been good to you. You know that the Lord has blessed you. You know that the Lord, hallelujah, has given you another chance to be on this earth. Glory to God. You want to say that, Johnny? Thank you, Lord. 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 Get out of your mind. Right. 
Get out of your mind. Get out of your mind. Get out of that intellect. Get out of that and begin to just do what the word says. It said, make a joyful. And some of y'all won't even open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. And you wonder why your situation is still the same. You wonder why things won't change for you. One reason is because you won't obey what the word says. That simple, make a joyful noise. Y'all quiet. Noise ain't quiet. Noise is not. Let me get ready to tell you they get ready to give you that scholarship to play pro-bop. 
Now what you gonna do? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Let me tell you, glory to God, that your husband or your wife is getting ready to be healed from that disease. And all of it is so.
He said Second Chronicles. Yes, what did he say? If my people. Yes. So he said this morning, if Jesus. he covered just his people. He said, he's talking about all the land this morning. He said, make a joyful noise. Uh -huh.
in the harmony of the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to get out of your cell. You got to make your cell. Get up there. 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 Get up out of your place. Oh, see. You got to get up. You got to get up. See, some of y'all are still sitting down.
we go down. Jesus. They still say, Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said we're supposed to give thanks at all things. Everything that happens, we're supposed to give thanks unto God because He allowed it to happen for a purpose. So every time something happens, we thank say, thank you, Lord. Lord. I'm not thanking you for thank what I'm in, God. I'm thanking you for being God. Thank because you, I know that whatever I'm in, God, thank that God is not serving. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your thank head you, Lord. over the gates. Thank you, Lord. And be lifted up on the everlasting door. Yes. So the King of Glory yeah. can come in. Yes, God. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. John, you know, the first king. Losing everything he had. None of us, that ain't happened to none of us. Yeah. He lost all his children, his house. He lost everything. We lose uh, two dollars. Thank you, Jesus. We are Because they have lost everything. And God is still saying, I'm still giving you a command. Because I'm still giving you a chance. Because when it comes your way, if you don't know how to make a joyful noise, now, how are you going to be able to make a joyful noise when hell hits your head? It has to hit you. you. You got little drops and pieces of stuff. But when hell really hits your house, what are you going to be saying? And this little stuff that's hitting us now, we can't even hold up on it. Without we want to care. But the Lord is saying in his word, make a joyful noise all of you know. You got to get your emotions in this thing. You got to get in God. You got to get in his place. You got to love him. And you got to let him love on you. You got to lay aside every weight and every sin that's so easy to be you. You got to lay this stuff aside. This stuff ain't mattering no more, y'all. What is mattering, y'all, is your soul. Yes. Where is your soul going to spend eternity at? When it's all said and done, glory to God. Hallelujah. Where are we going to land in eternity? Where? Where are we going to land in? Are we going to land in eternity with the Lord God? The one that says, make a joy for no one's that Lord. Or are we going to land somewhere as a mission that we could or would have had another chance to make that joy for them? Or are we going to keep going after these other gods that don't satisfy nothing? They don't satisfy, they prove that. Because they say, if you do this, I give you that. If you do that, and you get that, and you still ain't satisfied. That's right. Come on, Apostle. Tell the truth. But the God that I serve, he's able to keep us 
and fall there. He's able today that if we obey him, he's able today that if we do what he said, good God Almighty, he'll deliver us from every sin. He'll deliver us from everything that so easily besets us. He'll deliver us from all sickness. He'll deliver us from whatever is binding us today. So I just stopped by today to give you that one switch. Because when you really get the revelation of that one scripture, you're going to find out that when you begin to make that joyful noise into the Lord, hallelujah, you're going to begin to see your way clearly. You're going to begin to see your enemies move out your way. You're going to be able to move forward in God. And all of these other little distractions, they won't stop you in your tracks. You, Good God from Zion. You, but when we begin to make a joy for the Lord, you, when we begin to praise the Lord, when we begin to worship the Lord, hallelujah. A lot of our cares of this life. They won't matter. But we're so caught up in the this, that, the other. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're caught up, we're caught up, we're caught up in the cares of this life. Jesus. And everything is passing away every day. Yes. Yes. I'm concerned with what the doctor said. I'm concerned with what they're saying. I'm concerned with what people are saying about me. Right. Glory to God. All that I'm concerned about is what God is saying about me. All that I'm concerned about is that my hand is in the pastor's hand. All
The race ain't given to that. The one that runs the fast. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What you are concerned about is is that you finish your course. That you finish that that he called you to do. Hallelujah. So we can say like Paul said, good God, it is time of departure. But God Almighty, Paul said, I finish. I finish my course. And he said, now what is laid up for me is a crown of righteousness that is laid up for me. And glory to God. Don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Love them and pray for them and help them if you can. But you got a race to run. Each one of us. And at the end of the day, come on. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the master is going to ask each one of us, what did you do with that? What did you do with that charge that I put on your life? Good God from time. But if he's saying, I want you to make a joy for them. Joy, everybody. Make a joy for them. He wants to start. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got a plan for us. Come on, somebody. Don't be fooled by this world. Don't be fooled by what's going on in this world. Glory to God. We got a God that's in control of an out of control world. He is in control. The devil won't put fear in us. And all of this stuff, good God Almighty. But God said, look, even in the midst of all the day, he said, I want you to make a joy for the Lord. He said, I want you to shout with the voice of triumph. He said, I want you to Oh, 
He's the same God. 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 Then walk with your grandmother. He's the same God. 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 That's going to bring your children through. When you feel all alone, God is right there by your side. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're going to see a life change. Let God Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh man, what's going on? Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. When your flesh wants to say something else, you say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Make a choice to say, Thank you, Jesus. Don't cuss nobody out. Hallelujah. Don't want to fight nobody. Don't let nothing negative come out your mouth. But thank you, Jesus. And make that joyful noise unto the Lord. Let Him change it. He's the only one that can change it. So today, as we leave this place, put God the mic. Hallelujah. I know sometimes we slip over there. But hurry up and jump back over there. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 As we stand to our feet.